What if everything you see, hear, and feel isn't real? What if your memories, your thoughts, even this very moment, are nothing but lines of code running inside a cosmic computer? It sounds like science fiction, but some of the world's smartest scientists are starting to take this idea seriously because the more we learn about physics, consciousness, and reality itself, the more it all starts to look like a simulation. The question isn't new. Over 2,000 years ago, the philosopher Plato imagined humans trapped in a cave, mistaking shadows for reality. Later, Descartes asked, how do I know I'm not dreaming? Today, we ask the same question. Only this time, instead of demons or gods, we talk about algorithms and supercomputers. What if our universe is not the first, but just one of many simulated worlds? In 2003, Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom proposed something called the simulation argument. He said there are only three possibilities. One, civilizations like ours never become advanced enough to create simulated realities. Two, they do, but choose never to run them. Or three, they already have, and we're inside one. If that's true, then everything we call real is just data, not atoms, not particles, just information. Sounds crazy, right? Yet physics keeps giving us strange clues. In 2012, physicist Silas Bean and his team suggested that if the universe were simulated, we might actually find its pixels, tiny limits in the resolution of space itself. And quantum physics does show something eerily similar. Reality isn't smooth and continuous. It's made of discrete chunks, quanta of energy and information just like how a computer renders a video game. Coincidence? Maybe. Or maybe not. But here's where it gets even stranger. Even if the universe isn't a simulation, your brain already is one. Everything you experience, sight, sound, touch, is just electrical signals interpreted by your mind. Your eyes don't see objects. They see light. Your brain builds the image. Colors don't exist out there in the world. They're just your brain translating wavelengths into sensations, which means that in a very real way, you already live inside a simulation, your own. Think about it. Every memory you have is a reconstruction, not a recording. Each time you recall something, your brain rebuilds it slightly differently. So even your past isn't real. It's a simulation of something that once was. And the future? Just a prediction. Your mind's best guess of what comes next. So if everything you see, remember, and imagine is generated by your neurons, how different is that from a digital world? Here's the paradox. If we were in a simulation, how would we ever know? Every experiment we perform would still be part of the simulation. The laws of physics we test would be written by the same code we're trying to expose. In that case, the ultimate truth might be forever hidden, not because it doesn't exist, but because it's simply outside the system. But let's flip it. Our own technology is advancing fast. VR, AI, digital consciousness, generative worlds. If future civilizations can simulate entire universes with billions of conscious beings, then statistically, almost every conscious mind that will ever exist won't exist in the base reality. It'll exist in a simulation, which means the odds that were the original are vanishingly small. But before you fall into an existential spiral, there's something beautiful about this idea. Even if our world is simulated, it's still our world. The people we love, the emotions we feel, the dreams we chase, they're all real to us. Meaning beauty, pain, joy, those are not illusions. They're what make this simulation, nor reality, worth living. Maybe the point isn't to find out whether we're in a simulation. Maybe the point is to live meaningfully inside it. Because if consciousness can give purpose to something that might just be code, 
then maybe it doesn't matter whether we're made of matter or math. What matters is experience. What matters is awareness. What matters is you. Right now, watching this, wondering if any of it is real. So, are we living in a simulation? Maybe. Maybe not. But this, right now, is your reality. And maybe that's enough.